Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be learning something called as resource assignments. So what is resource assignment? How we can use the resource assignments window to analyze our data to extract some useful information. So let us begin. So first of all, you need to open the window of resource assignments. I have already opened it. If you want to open it, there are two options. Either you can go to the project and you can click on this resource assignments. It will open resource assignments for you. Otherwise, you can go to the directory bar and you can choose this option of resource assignments. This will also direct you to the window of resource assignments only. So now you see, when I opened the resource assignments, it is showing me some different colored bars. And on the right hand side, it is showing me some time scale, like the months are visible to me and some budgeted units are visible to me. So if you see, there is one plant and machinery option. If I click on this minus, it will collapse this. It will uh, collapse this. And if I click on this minus, it will collapse materials and manpower. So basically, budgeted units for PNM material and manpower are being displayed. If I want to know that what is the total uh, man hours used in my project during the month of November. So it will be 1660 man hours for November, including your labor and staff. But you cannot get it for material because for material, the units are not similar. So that is why it is not giving you a cumulative. Instead, it is mentioning some dot, dot, dot over here. Similarly, if you want to know the machine hours for your plant and machinery, which is your concrete pump, your excavator and your dumper. So you can see for November, 170 uh, machine hours are being used for your uh, project. Similarly, for December, some 180 machine hours are used and for January, uh, 60 man hours are being used. You can see that for October also, since, since in October, very less work is there. So that is why you see everything is less because towards the end of the October, only your project is starting and the peak is somewhere going here. Okay, so let us just uh, expand that again and you see that for everything now, for every resource, includes, including the activity, you can see the breakdown. Like for PNM, you can see the dumper. Dumper is being used for 40 machine hours during the month of December. And this 40 uh, machine hours are directly being used in only activity, which is your earth filling and flooring. That's it. Similarly, if you go to concrete pump, you can see that 170 machine hours are being used in November and 140 in December. So in November, it is coming from casting of column and your slab and beam. And in October, it is coming from slab and beam. So for all the PNM, you can see that. Similarly, for manpower, if you go, like if you go for, let's say, uh, Ashish Pandey. Okay. So if you go for the construct, he's the construction manager of our project. You can see that from here also. I don't think so it is visible. You need to add the option of roles so you can customize everything, whatever you want. You can go to columns, you can customize, you can add whatever option you want, like roles and all, some cost you want to add here. You can do the customization from here. So he's the construction manager in our project. So for him, you see, he's consuming 90 man hours in October, 260 man hours in November, 280 man hours in December and 400 man hours in January. So the breakup if you want so you can go activity wise like 10 man hours is coming from foundation 20 man hours is coming from site clearance then some man hours coming from excavation in this month then for other activities also he is being used continuously so if you see in other months somewhere you will find his contribution like for painting he's he's also coming for painting he's coming for all the activities but in different months so suppose if you want to know the total number of uh, staff being used for any particular month. So how you can do is, first of all, you need to collapse these things. How to collapse? So you can go to collapse to option and you can choose the level number three, which is your yellow level. So if you click on OK, now it will collapse to yellow level and it will not show you activity wise. Instead, it will show you only resource wise. So let us go to our manpower. So if you see the manpower, then for October, total man hours being consumed is only for 400. If you see the total number of uh, working days in October, then it is your 22nd October till 31st October. Let us go to calendar option. And let us open this particular calendar if you want. So if you see 2018 October. 
so this is your calendar for october so from 22nd to 31st if you see so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 22 to 31st 28th is a holiday so only nine working days are there in october so let us close this let us go back to resource assignment so if you see this particular helper is coming only is only contributing 10 hours so that means 10 hours he is contributing and there are 10 hours in a day so that means there will be only one helper if you divide that person by 10 but if you divide this particular number by 90 how 90 comes 9 days in october multiplied by 10 days of work 10 hours of work every day so if you divide 10 by 90 then you will get that how much day on average this helper is being utilized so it will come somewhere like 1 divided by 9 so which will be nothing but 0.111 so basically every day 0.1 of the helper is being used so obviously this is not something practical but since there is only one helper uh, doing some particular work for that particular Uh, maybe some day or something so that is why this figure is coming like this but if you go to ashish pande then you know that this particular person is being used every day of every uh, month or every week of the project so you see if you divide this number by 90 so it will come to 1 that means one person is being used as ashish pande so there is basically only one person with the name of ashish pande who is there in the project for the month of october so similarly if you go to mason so if you divide this 120 by 90 so it is com coming somewhere around 1.3 so 1.3 masons is being used every day at site if you go to activities and if you see for the month of october so you see this mason is being used two masons are being used for two days then for excavation you see one mason is being used for six days and for 31st october also there is there are two masons being used so if you add the number of masons which will be two here then 20 for six days they are using uh, one mason so 6 plus 2 will be 8 and 8 plus 2 uh, multiplied by 2 will be 4 so it will be 12 so this is how that number is coming 120 multiplied by this 12 multiplied by 10 will be 120 so how it came once again i'll tell you for 31st october there is only one day in which this activity is going on and one mason is be, two masons are being used for this activity so the number will be two masons for this particular day then 24th to 30th is six working days and one mason is being used for six days so six multiplied by one will be six plus two of this will be eight now eight is the backlog for site clearance it is two days and two masons are being used so it will be 4 so 8 plus 4 will be 12 so this is how this 120 number is coming here 12 multiplied by 10 hours is 120 this is how this man hours are being calculated similarly for ashish pande if you see if you go to activities so for first activity ashish pande is being used one person of ashish pande is being used for two days similarly for six days and for one day so 6 plus 2 plus 1 will be 9 and he is working for 10 hours per day so 9 into 10 will be 90 so this is how his man hours are coming here okay so this is some table which will help you to get the total man hours or some material hours material units or your machine hours month wise also you can change the time scale if you want the time scale like i showed in the other video also so you can change the type of calendar also then date and interval you want days and shift to be displayed so these all things you can change okay one more thing is if you want some cost and all to be displayed here then you can go to spreadsheet fields you can go to customize then you can go to cumulative then you can go to cost you want suppose cumulative budgeted cost also to be displayed you can move it here you can click on okay so now it will show you budgeted cumulative budget units as well as your cumulative budgeted cost also okay so every month it is properly displaying like for example you want ashish pande so ashish pande is consuming 90 units and his total cost for the month of october is 27000 dollars again you can go to activities and you can check this particular cost by adding his particular price per unit and number of days so you go there you see ashish pande is charging 300 dollars per hour and he is working for 9 days 22nd october se leke 31st october is 9 days so 9 multiplied by 300 will be 
okay so this is how we calculate the uh, we use the uh, what to say resource uh, assignments for our project you can gather so much data from it and also you can copy this data to your excel if you want so like this you can click and you can control plus c like suppose only one row you want two rows you want so you can click on control plus c you can go to excel you can go to open and you can paste your data here so you can see whatever data you copied it is coming here if you want further data to be copied to excel you can copy that also and you can analyze in excel rather than analyzing in the primavera p6 so this is all about resource assignments thank you